hello beautiful people 12 side horses you can do from your bed so let's check it out hi i'm chelsea and i'm lauren and we are the, the financial, financial diet. diet so today we're going to be talking about side jobs that you can have from the comfort of your own bed which is awesome mm -hmm. uh because a few weeks ago we did a video that was a lot of you know money mistakes that you might be making and we'll link that in the description mm -hmm. uh, and one of them was not having any side income at all which we think is a mistake uh, and a lot of people were like but it's too hard you have to like go an extra place and it takes up too much time etc cetera, etc cetera. and a lot of people were asking you know what are the side hustles that you guys know of or you like that anyone can anyone. do from anywhere. So the jobs that we picked that we're going to share with you today, they tap into works. different skill sets, but they have in common the fact that A, obviously you can do them from bed, okay. um, but they're really flexible to work with different existing work or school schedules, okay. different physical abilities or limitations, uh, and there's something that you can do just even a couple hours a month. So without further ado, here are 12 side hustles you can do from the comfort of your own bed. So you can do something simple like a closet inventory and then sell your old clothes online. So winter is coming and there's no better time to do a closet purge to give yourself a little bit more space in your closet. You can use websites and apps like Poshmark, Vaunt, and ThreadUp to help sell your clothes online. And we'll have those links in the description along with all the links we're gonna talk about today. Oh, and in before the comment that's like, you have to get out of bed to go through your closet, yeah. which, touche. But the actual selling and going through the app and all that stuff, you can even be on the train and do it. So. Yeah. so next is customer service rep. Now customer service is a field where more and more companies every day are allowing their representatives to be based from home and to kind of figure out their own schedules. You have agencies like Live Ops, which will pair you with a company if they approve you to be part of their system. Mm. Uh, and they'll put you with people who allow you to work from home. Or you can even go directly to the clients that you're interested in, the companies that you think you might want to work for, or even the industry in general and see who's hiring remote workers. You'll be surprised the amount of companies that allow their customer service people to work from home. Next, you can review websites, apps, and programs. So I have personal experience with user testing where you essentially troubleshoot websites and you leave a voice recording as you go through the mm -hmm. website. So these websites pay anywhere from $3 to $20 a test. Oh, wow. And if you're really diligent about it, you can make several hundred dollars per month. Just a few of the sites you can look at to get started in the website app reviewing game are places like user user feel, user lytics, and user testing. Another great job is social media management for small businesses. Mm. As some of you might remember, our former managing editor, Maya, actually used this very gig to get herself some extra money in college. Essentially, if you're someone who's really good at social media yourself, but is just using it exactly. for yourself, it would be a really good idea to look around you at the small businesses, restaurants, coffee shops, dry cleaners, yeah. boutiques, wherever you can see someone who's got a great business, but is not using social media to their fullest benefits. Mm. This is especially common with older business owners or business owners who opened uh, before social media was even an important part of the game and who just aren't sure how to use it to promote and increase their business. The so essentially what you need to do is figure out what your packages might be, anything from you know teaching the business owners the basics of promoting themselves and SEO and all that stuff, Sandra all the way up to them. running the platforms for them if they want mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. Put together you know some basic business cards and a little presentation of the different things that you offer and start pitching it to business owners around you. Obviously, this is something that could happen in person as well, but a lot of it can be done purely online and thus from the comfort of your bed. Another idea is to be a virtual assistant. So virtual assistants do everything from emailing, making calls, setting up meetings, okay. those kind of tedious tasks that people are looking to outsource in their busy workday. There are a lot of agencies that will hook you up for companies that are looking for virtual assistants and we'll link to a few of those in the description below. Individuals are also often looking for assistance, even short-term ones, we had to hire a temporary assistant for doing our book. Mm. Another great from-home job is copywriting. If you are someone who is great at writing things like essays, articles, blog posts, even mm. great social media posts, you might be great at copywriting. And since it's so easy to set up an online portfolio as a freelance copywriter, there's no reason not to go for it. I've personally used a site called Contently, which is great for setting up a profile of the kind of copywriting that you can do, where clients come and find you and you can seek out freelance jobs. And just in case you were curious, copywriting is ad writing. Another idea is to design and sell something online. So I'm actually in the process of launching an e 
shop for the financial diet, which is really exciting. And it's a great way to make an investment for the long term that will earn you money as you do other work. Obviously, this is going to require you to have some creative abilities first, and it is an investment of your time, but once you get it set up, it's pretty automated. E-commerce platforms like Etsy and Shopify are just some of the most common ones, but there are a ton out there. And if you work with a third party for your packaging and shipping, the money just basically takes care of itself while the e-shop sits there. Next is to become an online language tutor slash conversation partner. Before I was a writer, I used to make a lot of money on the side using a site called Wiseant, where I tutored French, and then when I moved to France, I tutored English. Some mm. of my clients were in person, but I actually had a ton of clients that I only met via Skype slash typing. If you speak a foreign language, all the better, but if you don't, there are plenty of people all over the world looking for tutors and conversation partners in English strictly online. You may have to put on a little makeup or comb your hair, but you can still be in bed. So another idea is to sell used books or textbooks online. So selling old books and textbooks online is a great way to make a little extra money on the side, and it's also a great way to declutter your home. You can set up a professional book selling account on things like Book Scouter or Book Finder, or you can use websites like Amazon or eBay, but keep in mind that most of these websites do take a cut of whatever book you sell. Mm -hmm. Another option is to become a general online tutor Super. in whatever you specialize in. This really applies if you have a college degree, and particularly if you have a college degree in something that you're not really actively using. Mm. For example, if you have a degree in history or English or chemistry, and you're doing something that's maybe not totally related, a great way to really use that degree is to go through online tutoring programs and tutor K through 12 students in those subjects. We'll link to a few great sites where you can be certified to be an online tutor in the subjects of your choosing. Another idea is to take surveys online. So there are a ton of websites online that you can use to take surveys and get paid for them. And I actually found a great roundup on a mom blog that I'll link to in the description below. Make sure though that you do find a legitimate and reputable source. A lot of those fake scammy surveys out there. When I heard surveys, I was like, those are scams. And she was like, no, they're not. And she showed me and they're not, but some are, so. The last and most general one is to search on any job listing website wherever key terms like remote, work from home, home-based, etc. Whether you're on monster.com or Craigslist or a specific industry site, always search for those terms and keep your eye out for anything that you can do from home, especially part-time if you're looking for a side hustle. And on sites like LinkedIn, you can set alerts so that any Anytime there's a new job posted with those specific details, you can get an email about it. And lastly, as our friend Steph always says and slash said in an extremely vintage <laughs> TFD video, Always make sure to check on Craigslist that scammy looking gigs tab all the way at the bottom that looks totally fraudulent and like you're gonna end up murdered from it. But it's but not, it's awesome. It's not, there's tons of great jobs on there, a lot of them from home, go check it out. So as always, thank you for watching. Well. This is a brilliant, um, you know, side also, but it can never work in Africa. <laughs> That's what I would say. Most of this side also is something that is not easy to do here in Africa, you know, selling, you know, old books, old clothes. Okay, there's a different, if you are selling, okay, secondhand clothes, it's different, but your clothes, your old clothes, how many do you have? Who will buy them? Unless it's your close person that will buy it from you. But it's a really nice idea, you know, you being a social, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, social media promoter for a business owner. Maybe they, 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 they don't know much about social media. You'll be the one to undo their social media accounts. It's a very brilliant idea. There are lots of, you know, ideas they gave out that is brilliant and can work here. But regardless, you can try it out. No matter where you are, you can try this side also out. And it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Wow, nice one. I really enjoy watching. Thank you so much for watching. You are my real VVIP. So don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell for more. Like, share, comment. I'll see you in the next one.